Over all the years, I've had different titles. I kind of centered on one now that's called Connector. And when you come to ISA events, that's exactly what you do. One of my favorite parts was the networking, getting to meet people um, in similar industries and learn about the challenges they're facing and how they are similar or relate to the challenges you're facing. It's a great uh, networking event for, for folks that you bring a problem, you've got a challenge, you want to expand your, your, your group of influencers. I like it because it allows me to think on, on the, you know, if you go into detail about how to change work processes and procedures that would help us be more efficient. The reality of it is that uh, life as we know it would not exist uh, without our profession. Uh, we are involved in everything from the water that you drink to the electricity that you use. I think the biggest uh, difference that the automation is going to make in water and wastewater industry is uh, to use the data that uh, is available uh, to make a difference because the data is over there and like just uh, people have to start to use that data to make a difference. Get the most out of what we've got, not do more with less. Do the most with what we have. And I think that's the best approach and I'm positive that automation is the answer for doing that. Because it simply makes or provides solutions. In a sustainable future, it's going to require technology, it's going to require smart things, um, smart cities, smart sewers, smart water systems, smart electrical grids. Automation uh, initiative you do uh, has an impact on the energy efficiency because any automation is supposed to you know, uh, improve productivity. Uh, it, even those applications which are not directly related to or concerned with energy efficiency are indirectly contributing to energy efficiency. I think ISA should stand for I see answers because I think that's the best thing we can give people. ISA um, is, is open to welcoming engineers from all around the world. It's not something that's specific to U.S. Because I was looking for more um, just information on what other people in the industry are doing, you know, the standards. What's going on in our industry really around open processes and open technology and all the changes that are happening around technology is moving so quickly. I think ISA is a really important organization to help you know, connect the technical community around automation to share best practices and share great ideas. And